Now that we have the Facebook Instant SDK added to our project and we've set up a score system, it will be simple to push our game score to Facebook Instance leaderboards. Hello and welcome back to another Unity Tiny video, where we will be setting up our game score system to work with Facebook Instance leaderboards. So let's go ahead and open up our project from the last video and the first thing that we're going to want to do is go into our scripts folder and we're going to open up our score service class that we created in a previous video. And now go ahead and open up the Facebook instant service class that we also created in a previous video. And inside of here, if you look at our current get high scores void that we set up, it returns the player entries from position 0 to 10, but we just want to return our current player's entry. So instead of reworking this void, let's keep it in case we want to use it for a future video or for future reference. So let's create another void. It's going to be called public async get high score without the S on it. And then go ahead and type in the leaderboard name. Which is going to be a string. And inside of here, we're going to have something pretty similar to this, but not near as much code. We'll type return await fb instant dot get leaderboard async leaderboard name because we want to pass in the name of our leaderboard into our get leaderboard async function that's inside of the Facebook instant class. If you don't have the Facebook instant class, which is this class here, you can find it in the link in the description below. And if you're not sure how to use this class, you can watch the video in the description below to teach you how. But moving on, after you say get leaderboard async and the leaderboard name, we'll say dot then because after we retrieve this leaderboard, we want to say leaderboard. And then we'll say leaderboard dot get player async and then a semicolon. Let's organize this a little better so it's easier to read. Excellent! Now that we have this void set up, we can go into our score service class and inside of the adjust score function that we created in a previous video, we can say if Facebook instant service dot get instance because we want to retrieve the instance of the Facebook instant connection that we created. Then we'll say dot is available because we only want to perform this code if our game is currently connected to Facebook instance. Otherwise, we'll just ignore this code. And now we're going to retrieve the high score from Facebook instant, but we don't want to have to constantly keep making a connection and retrieving that score. So let's store that score in this class once we retrieve it. So let's make a variable called static fb score for Facebook score, and it's going to be a number. And we'll set it to null. Then down here, back inside of our if statement, we'll say if this dot fb score is equal equal to no, meaning has the Facebook score been set yet? If not, we'll run this code saying Facebook instant service dot get instance dot get high score without the S, pass in the name of the board you want to retrieve the score from, and for my project, and if you're following along with me, it's going to be global high score. If you don't know how to get the name of a leaderboard, you can watch my previous video on how to use Facebook Instant Leaderboards. So I'll pass in the name of my leaderboard, which is Global High Score. And then after we pass this in, we can retrieve the score by saying dot then parentheses entry, which will be the name of the variable we are retrieving, then a Lambada expression an open bracket and a closed bracket, put a semicolon after your closed parenthesis, then inside of here we'll say this dot fb score is equal to entry dot get score. 
And now after we've set up this dot fb score, we can go outside of this if statement and say if this dot fb score is not equal to null, meaning was it successfully set up on this run of the function or a previous run of the function, and if it was, plus if our current score dot value is greater than the Facebook score, we'll pass our score to Facebook instant to be added to the leaderboard by saying fb instant service dot get instance dot add high score the name of our leaderboard that we set up which is global high score the score we want to pass will be score dot value put a semicolon to close off the line and then after we do that, we just want to set this dot fb score to be equal to score dot value so that the score that we've stored for the Facebook instant leaderboard is the same as the score that we're pushing to the Facebook instant leaderboards. Now let's move our world dot set component data to the bottom of the function. Go ahead and save your Facebook instant service file and your score service file. Go back into your Unity editor, and Unity editor and let your scripts compile. After they compile, let's go into our project settings. Go to your tiny settings and make sure your build configuration is set to release. Let's click on play and let the game build out so we can upload it to Facebook Instant to test our high scores. Before we upload it, let's open the console and just kill a few enemies to make sure we're not getting any errors while not being connected to Facebook Instant because we should have a workaround to fix that. You can see that we're not getting any errors because it's not attempting to upload the game to Facebook Instant because we're not currently connected to it. Now let's upload our game to the developers.facebook.com slash apps. Go into your app that you've created previously. If you don't know how to create an app, you can watch another video that I've uploaded in the description below. So go to web hosting and let's click on upload version. Now go back into your Unity project, right click on assets and click show and explore. Let's go into our tiny export, platformer, which is the name of my project, HTML5, release, and let's archive our build folder. So right click, add to archive, make sure it's a zip, click OK. Once you have your zip file created, go back into the developers.facebook.com slash apps and let's drag our .zip folder into the choose file location. Then click upload. Once it goes from scanning to standby, go ahead and push it to production. Then go to details and copy the link of your game. Then we can go to that link to open up the game. Once the game opens up, we can open the console and spawn a few enemies and see if we're able to upload our score to the high scoreboards. I killed one enemy and got a score of 1000. I killed a second enemy and got a score of 2000 and it pushed it to the high scoreboards. My score on the high score is 2000, my rank is 1, and it also pushed some extra data. Excellent! This seemed to work just as we expected. If I kill another person, you can see my score went to 3000 and my rank is still 1. Cool, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It would really help me out. And until next time, have a wonderful day.